Howdy folks! Welcome to my chemistry lab, or at least the start of it. I had a chemistry set when I was younger, and a little lab area in the basement that I fooled around in, and always wanted to have another one uh, when I got older, but never had the time, or never had the proper spot to do it. So here's the, here's the start of one. I'm going to use it for different uh, chemistry things, but mainly for nature study, and whatever else I might think of. I have a whole bunch of things planned. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to look at is uh, the identification of different rocks and minerals and go from there. Uh, actually to your right is a lab cabinet. Let me change the camera angle on that. I actually got this at a government surplus store for only two bucks. It was really a great deal. I can't believe I found it. It's actually a Fisher Scientific uh, cabinet. It's meant to hang on the wall, but I didn't want to hang it on the cinder block, so I made a little stand for it. And it has glass doors, and I keep all my glassware in here. I did have it out on the shelf, and I was afraid it was going to get all dusty, so when I found this, I thought this, this is perfect. So uh, I have just some basic stuff, uh, some, some beakers, some flasks, uh, different glassware. Uh, some jars that I use as beakers, test tubes, volumetric flasks, graduate cylinders, uh, some porcelain stuff like crucibles. Uh, so nothing, nothing uh, fancy, but, but it's, it's really going to come in handy. I'm, I'm really glad I found it. And uh, so hopefully the rest will stay a workbench, I hope, unless I really start to invade the, the rest of the house here. So now i got the camera angled towards the middle, and this is my main lab table. And I got this on Craigslist for I think 40 bucks. It was something uh, very cheap. It's a really nice Formica top, a really nice Formica shelf. It came with the drawer cabinets in the bottom. Uh, it also came with the, the metal stands here. I actually made the, the wood shelves underneath and I also added the pegboard on the back and that uh, keeps things from falling back and I can hang things. But it also came with the, the clamp on light, so for 40 bucks I thought that was a great deal. Uh, sort of things I have here, I did a, made a lot of homemade stuff. This is a homemade colorimeter. I have a couple videos on that. Uh, behind here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a homemade uh, blender centrifuge, which I need to work on it. It has so much force it actually pulls the plastic tubes off of the, the lids. Excuse me. I have a homemade stir plate. Uh, a heating element, you know, various sort of things, uh, a nice little turntable for office stuff, and here's some things for mineral testing. I actually have a uh, some different nichrome wire utensils. This is to do a flame test for different minerals that you dissolve in acid and you put them in a flame and look for, for different colors of elements. Uh, some loops to make uh, borax bead tests. I also have a hardness testing kit that has different probes where you scratch to see what the hardness of the mineral is by scratching it with different hardness probes. I also have some uh, porcelain plates for doing street testing. I can look for fluorescence with a short wave UV light. And I also have a, a longer wave, more of a black light. Different minerals are sensitive to different wavelengths. Uh, this is actually a spectroscope, and I, I'm hoping to use that to, to look for different uh, uh, wavelengths of light uh, when doing flame tests. I don't know how that will work out or not. Uh, a nice pestle to, to be grinding up samples. Uh, so things like that. This is my mini torch to do, to do different testing with. So, so anyways, that's a good start for my mineral stuff. Uh, in the drawers I have things like in the bottom I have personal protective equipment and the top drawer I have different uh, clamps and test tube holders and brushes and things like that. The other drawers have miscellaneous, you can imagine the, the sort of lab things that, that you have. I do have a scale and that's for measuring specific gravity to help for mineral identif identification and some other drawers here with uh, like I said, miscellaneous stuff. So uh, I also have a burette to do some titrations, and that's about uh, that's most of it. And I'll pan on over to the corner. This 
cabinet in the corner I got it at the flea market for five bucks. It has some rust on the bottom, so I had to clean it up a little bit, and I painted it up. Put some glass on the top because I want to do, like I said, the bee testing in, in, in this laboratory hood. Take the fumes out, and uh, I'm sure I'll be dropping some red hot beads on it so the glass will protect the, the top. Uh, I don't have a, a fan on the, the hood yet. I got to do that. I also have to attach the the plexiglass uh, front. I'm going to either try strip magnets or Velcro so I can either remove it or put it in different sections. And it has a nice drawer and uh, keep some different chemicals in the bottom. I have a meager supply of chemicals. I'm going to do some ordering here to, to get some things that I need. But uh, that's that. And uh, to finish it off is a I got some bicycles in the way here. It's actually a piece of furniture that uh, we weren't going to use anywhere else in the house, so I, I ended up with it for the lab. It's a dry sink, and this will be my, my microscope uh, area. I have a uh, compound bottom lit microscope and also a, a stereo microscope. So uh, it's right here by the window, so I should get some good light. And in the bottom, I have some different. Uh, bottles and containers and, and things like that, more non-liquid sort of things. So that's it. And I also have a whole bunch of different rock samples here that uh, are waiting to be looked at. So if you want to see a really nice mineral laboratory, go to Frank Reiser's uh, channel. That's Frank Reiser, R-E-I-S-E-R. -E and he has a spectacular geology lab set up there, so you can search on uh, YouTube for uh, Geology Lab or Frank Reiser and uh, look at his. Uh, one thing he has too is a, a lot of storage for samples. He's got a whole bunch of different uh, mineral samples and uh, nice places to uh, store those. So that, I still need to, to kind of work on that. So anyways, that's it. Uh, thanks for looking and uh, happy lab work.